Hey Internet, it's Gunter with Mini Mishaps, and today we are going to be fixing up a damaged or failed 3D print of a really sweet dragon. The last time we did a repair video, we actually fixed up a uh, damaged metal unicorn and I'll put that up here uh, so that was kind of neat to see it get restored and go back to normal this one actually started off broken um, it's got a wing that printed on the supports but not attached to the dragon uh, so there's some warping there and then before I brought it back to the workshop uh, it had been mishandled and uh, a couple of the horns had broken off the head so um, that we are going to do kind of a two purpose video today we're going to be pouring plastic to hold the wing and fill the curve the gap uh, that because it's not a flush break it's uh, it just plain 3d printed um, with some with some warping uh, so we'll be filling that with the liquid plastic and then the next thing that we're going to be doing uh, is we're going to be mold cast press mold casting the horns by making a, an exact copy of the two horns that are still uh, in place first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix up some plastic and get that poured uh, into the wing uh, and this was a little bit tricky because uh, when you're doing fills, you have to wait to basically the exact right second to pour the plastic. If it's too runny, it just runs off and pools into the base. And if you wait a second or two too long, then you're just dealing with sludge that won't, um, won't take the shape of the wing. So we actually did a pretty accurate uh, job on the wing, so I was happy with that. It did end up filling uh, filling the gap. It left a little bit open at the top, but I don't think that takes away from the uh, shape of the wing at all. So next, after we've got the wing set and in place, we are going to be using some blue stuff, uh, which is a, it's kind of like if you ever had a mouth guard um, in the, like a martial arts setting, you have to boil the mouth guard and then that takes the shape that you need it to most uh, protect your teeth. Blue stuff's kind of like that, where it's, it's rubberized plastic that won't stick to either the 3D print plastic or the liquid plastic that we'll be pouring. So we're going to heat it up so it becomes like a putty and then uh, press it into the two horns on the good side flip it over, get them all set on um, braced in the air in the way that it would hold uh, at the right angle there. You can see it took a little finagling with a couple of clamps. And then all we have to do is pour the uh, plastic into that space. Uh, so it's not perfect. It's not an exact thing. You will end up with the one side being flat doing it this way but actually the the model used already has flat planes as the wings and the horns so the flat part of the horn isn't actually going to really bother us today if that was something where it was a really rounded unicorn horn or or um, viking helmet horn those kinds of very 3d horns this method would not work as well and you'd want to do the press as a two-part mold uh, instead of the, the singular press pour that we did here. We'll get it out of the mold and we'll get the little excess uh, plastic cleaned off there and um, very excited how this turned out. Uh, I'm going to give it just a quick matching gray. I'm not really going to match worry too much about matching it because I think they're just going to prime it and do something else with it when I get it back. Um, but I'm just going to take a tiny bit of blue into that gray and, um, and cover up the white plastic so that it's at least uh, halfway uniform. So the next time we're going to have a video, we're probably looking at 
uh, doing a fail video of uh, recently tried to uh, do a mold casting of a D20 and I'm going to run down all of the mishaps and things that can go wrong uh, when you fail to use uh, silicone rubber because I, um, I'm out now so I can't redo that project for that video. The video is going to get to be a, a failed list of things to watch out for, cautionary tale. So you can watch out for that. Uh, if you like the video, like, subscribe. You can support us on Patreon and we appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks internet.